all my good folks, fine feathered friends, people that fight crime, break dancers, karate men, it's, it's a long list. Popcorn Reactions, your friend, your host, Showdown, your host of today's proceedings. So many movies to cover. What shall and will we ever shall do in times such as the Misery, 1990 horror classic, something special. There's just something special about a movie that only has very few characters in it, but leaves such an lasting impression on so many people that have seen it. Rob Reiner, Stephen King wrote the novel. Damn, Stephen. We'll be talking about him forever. I don't even want to waste no more time. Please remember to subscribe, like, be cool if you comment, come down. Of course, you want to hit the bell because the bell does the thing that tells you that something's happening. Yeah, back in the day, they had these things called typewriters, kids. You actually had to know how to spell. I guess you celebrate finishing the book. Or you put a lot of hard work and you're done. And you just celebrate with a cigarette. Apparently, Paul used to play for the Mets. I don't know. Where the hell does he live? Or does he... He probably just, just comes out here to, to, to work. Man, fuck that. Dude, are you serious? This weather's terrible. No, don't slow down at all. Why would you do that, Paul? Damn. Damn, broski. You really wasn't dressed for that type What's of that? weather. Miss Rich Chastain put braces on your daughter's teeth and is putting her through college. I never meant for it to become my life. Damn, Paul, you still got that damn book, though. He's resuscitating this guy and everything. Oh. He's like, no, I'm, I'm fine. That shit hurts. Damn. She picked him up and carried him out of snow blizzard. Up a hill. We're just outside Silver Creek. You've been here two days. You're gonna be okay. All I know is she's crazy, somehow. Damn, she gave him an IV? Pulled his ass out of a wrecking car upside down on a mountain in a snow blizzard? Here. And all he had was a leather jacket on. They're called Novril. They're for your pain. She got medicine? Thank you. Wow. The blizzard was too strong. I couldn't risk trying to get you there. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. He still look out of it. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in both legs, and the fibula in the right leg is fractured, too. The fuck? Damn, his legs is fucked up. This is Marsha Sandell. I'm calling from New York City. I'd like to speak to the Silver Creek chief of police or sheriff. Well, I'm pretty sure they're both not busy, Miss Sindel, since they're both me, chairman of the Patrolman's Retirement Fund. And if you need a good fishing guide, you could do a lot worse. Call me Buster. Everybody does. Buster does it all. <laughs> I also worked down at the McDonald's, and I served drinks down at the Regal Beagle on the weekends, ma'am. And if you need yourself a DJ, old DJ Buster's got all the hit records. I understand you've been up here the last six weeks. Isn't that a little strange? Well, I don't know. Does he usually phone you before he checks out of a hotel? Nothing's been reported out here, but I'll put his name through our system. If anything turns up, I'll call you right back. Buster start thinking right away. He's also a, de a detective. I bet you Buster's a detective. I try to imagine what was going on in the room of the world's greatest writer. Say the last part again. And there you were, leaving the lodge. And I wondered why a literary genius would go for a drive when there was a big storm coming. Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours. But the misery novels. I know them all by heart. All eight of them. When do you think the phone lines will be up? Uh, I have to call my daughter and I'd like to call my agent in New York. Could I ask you a favor? I noticed in your case there's a new Paul Sheldon book, and if if you wouldn't mind, I will let her. I will I let do her read it. Very hard and fast rule as to who reads my stuff at this early stage. 
I'd have definitely let her read it. And she saved my life. Look at his legs. He got the grimmest ankles. He got grankles. I'll get you your novel, Paul. Forgive me for prattling away and making you feel all oogie. She too nice. What's your new book called? Anything out of the ordinary. Airs. Drives up from New York in the same car each time. I sure hope nothing's happened to him. So do I. Tomato soup? She gave him soup? She is a doll. What's ridiculous? Who am I to make a criticism to someone like you? So. The swearing, Paul. It has no nobility. Everybody talks like that. They do not? And in the bank, do I tell Mrs. Bollinger, oh, here's one big bastard of a check. Give me some of your Christing money. <laughs> oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Shit. This movie has just started. Paul, that's your ass. I love you, Paul. What? Your mind. Your creativity. That's that's all I meant. Uh, he, he he worried. He he know he he knows she crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, Paul. Meet Virginia. Meow, meow. Virginia, when you're in this car, you're not my wife, you're my deputy. Stop. What? Stop! What? <laughs> Virginia got her a smooch. Well, that's her man. Could have been the weight of the snow. Yeah, could have been a rotten branch, could have been the wind, could have been a lot of things. How in the hell did he know that? Have Buster know to look through here. Uh, he, Buster gonna kill himself. Buster, what are you doing? Damn, he was right there, just a further, a little further down, Buster. Oh, I hope I didn't wake you. Crazy's back. <laughs> no, that's fine. I guess that I ain't too bad. Means it's okay. No. No, it isn't. It's, it's not just great. It's. Paul, listen to me. I know some crazy women. She is nuts. Now I don't. I don't want to frighten you, Paul. But you need to get somewhere and fast, Paul. She's a fine uh, pig, is what she is. <laughs> I'm on page three hundred now, Paul. Well, I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end, and I gotta find out what happened. You dirty bird. How could you? Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Your spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! She, she died. She just slipped away. You did it! You did it! She went all the way fucking crazy, Paul. And don't even think about anybody coming for you. Not the doctors. Not your agent. Not your family. Because I never called them. Nobody knows you're here. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. That's tough. That is tough. That is tough. Paul, you can't do it. You're gonna hurt your legs, Paul. Where are you trying to go? Oh. My legs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, good. Everything that can be done is. As soon as we know anything, we'll let you know. No bother at all. Call any time. You poor dear thing. What are you doing on the floor? It's all my fault. Is it you? Uh. 
Oh, arm oh, ain't working. Oh, 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 oh his oh, leg. Oh, Wait. my God. Oh, you're such a... His legs and his feet. Look at oh. them shit. Some shit just swollen. Bro. Show me the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is that for? She gonna burn his script. All of that fucking work. Oh no! For you. But and the back best. then, there wasn't no backups. It's, it's really not difficult at all. My agent made dozens of copies. There's gonna be an auction in New York. I won't ever be free. Oh jeez. Um, uh, she ain't gonna. I think let you should off. light the match, Paul. Oh, this bitch is crazy. You done made me pull out the B word. I don't even use that. Can't you see it's what God wants? You're so brilliant, I would think you'd certainly be able to see that. Like I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Good. You're doing the right thing. Oh, shut up. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh, my. She's still holding that damn can. All of that fucking hard work that he put in the making that book. And this is what she do. Circle back. Yeah, I'm looking for him. Burn up his damn novel. Hi, right, how you doing, sir? It's fine. Make some at home back there. Hi, Sherry. Right. Sheree, tell us about the date. Okay. Put him inside the mattress, smart boy. I'd have never thought of that shit. If I knew this was gonna be the surprise, I'd have burned all my books. Now, don't poke fun. Now that you've gotten rid of that nasty manuscript, you can go back to doing what you're great at. You're gonna write a new novel. Greatest achievement ever. Misery's Return. You just expect me to whip something off, is that it? I expect <laughs> nothing less than your masterpiece. You just inhale that. I'll be right back. Man, listen. Hail to the no. You did great. <laughs> he turned it on the charm. There is just one little thing. Um... But mine costs the most. So I don't see how it can smudge. Come here, I'll show you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It does smudge after all. Annie, uh, what, what's the matter? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. Appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Ah! Oh! That wasn't worth no damn paper card. <laughs> she gone. Nice. Shit. Sh I shit is right, Paul. I mean, we're in a tight situation here. Oh, you don't have a lot of time. Slow it down, baby. I don't know what actually works. So she got a fake phone in the living room. <laughs> Man, you tripping. You gotta slow it down when you're going through there, man. That's a crucial area. My grandma used to have a room with all those little figure glass rings in there. Oh, I wish you would knock something down in there. You get all of us in trouble. Hang on, try to forest gump it. Fuck it, forest gump it, man. Sometimes you just gotta gump it. Oh, was out. God damn it. Oh, shit. Fuck the hell off. Sorry for the profanity. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, bitch. What a brain that you're isn't doing that stupid shit. Yeah. They playing getaway music. She got that orc walk. 
One of mommy's legs, she don't need those. <laughs> Hurry up, man, get the shit moving. All right, now get to the fucking table. Your color is very hectic. What have you been doing? Your color's okay, very well, hectic. what I've been doing. Please, make it go away. Yeah, he look, he look, he look hard. Right, she said. Hide him, god damn it. Put him in somewhere. That sheriff is still looking for him. We know that he somehow managed to crawl outside his vehicle, but we have been unable to find his body anywhere in the vicinity of the accident. You don't think he's dead, do you? Well, he might well be, but not the way they say. I mean, when you got time, you think of some creative shit to come up with. I couldn't write no book. Jesus. I'm sorry, Paul. This is all wrong. He didn't get out of the cock a duty car! The cock a duty car! Remember, Ian did ride for Dr. Cleary at the end of the last book, but his horse fell jumping that fence, oh and Ian goodness. broke his shoulder and his ribs and lay all what night in the ditch, and he never reached like, the doctor. So I'll there couldn't have been any experimental her. blood transfusion that's... Oh, my goodness. How long has he been there? Oh, when Ian realized that the reason they'd buried Misery alive was because the bee sting had put her in that temporary coma, I've known from the very first book that Misery had to be born of nobility, and I was right. Yeah, I have to wait. Will she still love him with that special, perfect love? You'll have to wait. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, Paul. See, it's just that kind of sarcasm that's given our marriage real spice. So do you. Oh. What is his plan? She is so crazy, I can't trust no moment. <laughs> he poured some big ass glasses of wine. I think so. I'll go look. Hey, yo, this dude has been plotting and trying the entire time he's been here. He's been trying. I mean, when he could, he, he gave it a shot. Oh, you. I just picked. Will this do? It's perfect. Oh, Paul, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. Oh, 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 shit. oh. oh my God, what have I done? Beautiful All toast. that work. <laughs> Will you ever forgive me? Oh, my goodness. Misery. How long has he been ciphering out those pills? It's positively the best hey, yo, misery I've ever written. How long has Paul been here? Oh, Paul is working out this dude is brilliant this dude is working out with the typewriter because his arm is still messed up when you first came here i only love the writer part of paul sheldon oh uh, i know you don't love me no i don't a fucking lunatic. Not a movie star yeah, that's what you are. You're a lunatic. Yeah. Lunatic. Luna. Yeah. Tick. Oh shit. She done pull out the gun. This gun. I might put bullets in it. She got the blickety. Alright, Paul, we gotta make a move. What is wrong with her? Paul putting, putting together a plan. There is a justice higher than that of man. I will be judged by him. There is a justice higher than that of man. I will be judged by him.
shit. She's a serial killer? Yum. She's a serial killer and a baby killer. Man, you don't stand a fucking chance. Oh, you got a plan. Practicing that shit. He been working on his damn body strength with the with the typewriter. Hey, you know, those typewriters are heavy as hell. It's upper body work working. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just in case he you gotta move. Oh, she ain't got no bullets in that gun. Him put him out. But I'm having such a wonderful time. <laughs> like Paul, I know you've been out. You've been out of your room. No, I haven't. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Ceramic penguin. Is this what you're looking for? First, I couldn't figure out how you did it. Damn. I know I left my scrapbook out. <laughs> Last night, it came so clear. Paul, do you know about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mines? That would be like junking a Mercedes just because it had a broken spring. But they also had to make sure they could never run away. What the fuck is she about to do? What is that? What is that? What does that do? Oh, no. What, what is do that? What you think about doing? Please don't oh, do Oh, my goodness. Shit. Ah. Oh, I hit the mic. Shit. Any for God's. What is she about to do? It's for the best. No! Hey, please! Oh! You crazy bitch! No! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! God, I love you. I'm gonna need a minute. Need a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh, she broke his fucking... Oh, what in the world? Put on this! You broke! Oh man, I can't even get over that. Oh my goodness. She does not curse. Despite the fact that she will kill you. <laughs> He is doing his homework. I like busting. How he find that out? Oh, so he he remembered hearing that before. In his book. Wow, what a fucking detail. Oh my goodness. Such a kidder. <laughs> Paul is pissed. I mean, that's an understatement. Typing guy. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but you didn't give me a chance to knock. I guess you can tell from my reaction I'm not all that used to visitors out here. Well, I was wondering, do you happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? Well, he was born in Worcester, Massachusetts 45 years ago, the only child of Franklin and Helene Sheldon. See, he's been missing for quite some time now, and I... I know, it's so upsetting. I'm his number one fan. I've got all his books. Paul is down in the basement, not the fuck. Paul, wake up. Must get lonely living out here all by yourself. He know Paul is in there. Oh shit, Paul is waking up. Paul, wake up. She's in the 
basement. Man, watch your ass. Check the whole house. You don't know about that basement. Miss Wilkes? Miss Wilkes, are you all right? Here! Here! I'm down here! <laughs> Mr. Sheldon? You see, I've known for some time why I was chosen to save you. You and I were meant to be together forever. Bro, so she just killed the fucking buster. She killed the sheriff with a shotgun. If misery, eternal life, by dawn, will be able to give misery back. Typing his ass off. Oh, Paul, I'm dying. Does she wind up with Ian or Winthorne? You'll know very soon. When I finish, I'd like everything to be perfect. Oh, what is Paul up to? This time we'll need two glasses. Oh, Paul. He's such a fan. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Is she not used to you trying shit right now? He is lighting that shit up. Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? Or if they'd ever be reunited? Paul, you can't! Why not? I learned it from you. And she get up from that, she's a fucking X-Man. I'm gonna kill you, you life cocksucker! Paul hit her with it. Oh, she got the blickety! Damn, he tackled her out of a wheelchair. He is fucking He picked up his own leg and threw it at her feet. And she tripped on a typewriter and busted her head open. That shit actually just happened. was rough you need to lay there for a minute paul back in the motherfucking state that's what i'm talking about fuck his feet up twice he might be in that yeah. for life i don't know very first copy great i thought you'd be thrilled i don't think i'm completely nuts but in some way wilkes help me paul since you brought her up I have to ask you this, or I'll be drummed out of the agents' union. How would you feel about a non-fiction book, about what went on in that house? I thought you were over it. I don't know if anyone could ever totally get over something like that. I still think about it once in a while. I bet you do. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you, but are you Paul Sheldon? I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. Oh, God. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Okay, you go ahead and... You have a good die. I don't want no cake. I'm on a diet. You go ahead. All right. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. You want to pay for the food? I'm getting the hell out of here. Misery 1990 horror classic. Rob Reiner. Who knew you had it in you? Well, you knew. And everyone else. The crazy, crazy. Yeah. Kathy Bates and James Kahn. My ankles. They hurt. My feet hurt. My shins and my calf muscles feel like I can't move them. That sledgehammer scene, right? I, I know, I know I'm like a thousand years late. I know, but damn, bro. Woo. I had a good time with that one. I can see why that was such a blockbuster. $20 million budget, $61 million 
$1.3 dollar return. Fantastic. Stephen King wrote the novel. Damn, Stephen. Another one down. I love this thing we got going on. Why I talk and you pretend to pay attention? Because I was on every everything that went on in that movie. I was right there on top. You know what I mean? I was riding with Buster. I was riding with Buster because I said, I don't know what Buster's doing because it's been some time since the car crash. But Buster just got a feeling about it. He just, he just, he just got to find out where where this dude go. Ended up hearing something in a novel, and and saying, I've heard that before. That's great. Once again, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Like, hit the bell, do the thing with the notification thing, and then the comment thing. We've been having some fantastic conversations. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, let me get two Capri Suns and three Charleston shoes. Peace out. That's with me.